Hey guys, this is Will from Loops and Worship, and I just want to take a second today to show you the most important place in Ableton Live, and that place is InfoView. Now, InfoView is incredibly helpful if you're new to Ableton and trying to learn the program and the ins and outs of the program and what each button does, and uh, InfoView is really, really great. So let's talk about how to get to it and then what it does. So to access InfoView, all we've got to do is go down here to the bottom left-hand corner of our screen, and we put our mouse on what's called a show hide button. This is our triangle facing to the right. If I click it, it's going to open up and that this is info view. Now the beauty of info view is if I don't know what a button is, for instance, the square button up here uh, at the top in my transport controls, I can put my mouse over it and info view is going to give me three things. Um, it's going to give me the definition of the button is. So the most uh, simple level, it's going to give me the name stop button in that definition, which it says click to stop playback. That's pretty, uh, pretty easy to understand. Then it's also going to give you a keyboard shortcut if there's one available by default um, when you open live. And in this case there isn't, so I don't see anything there. But it's also going to provide me with some context of what that button does, how maybe it reacts in different situations if we use a modifier on it. Uh, it gives, gives you a lot of detail. So in this case, I know if I press space, it's going to toggle between play and stop. If I double click that button, it's going to stop the song and return it to the very uh, beginning of the song. So this is really useful. Now, for instance, if I put my mouse um, over here, over this, uh, this square button that says key, then I see that this is my key map mode switch. And it tells me this is to turn key map on and off. Then it also gives me a keyboard shortcut down there at the bottom, command K. So InfoView is going to be really, really useful as you dive into live and you start to learn the interface and what everything does. And even if you've worked with live for a while, this is a great reference tool. And so what I would suggest um, is as you're learning live, if you have an issue, go here first. Put your mouse over whatever button or whatever area you're working with, and that's going to give you some context, a definition, um, provide you with some basic answers of probably what you're looking for. Second, I would check out the reference manual uh, for live, see if you can find what you need there. Um, then check out uh, Google and see if you can find some videos on YouTube or find some articles or blog posts that someone has put together to answer your question. And then uh, send your friends some emails. Give someone a call if you if you know a live ninja. And uh, the other option is to always seek out a certified trainer or someone who knows live really, really well. And um, so if you have any more questions, feel free to drop by the site, which is loopsandworship.com. Uh, if you're interested in any uh, training with me, I'm a certified Ableton Live trainer. Feel free to shoot me an email at training at loopsandworship.com, and I'd love to talk with you and chat and see what I can help you with. So I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Have a good one.